This tutorial will outline the steps, using free software and a free vector graphic image, to rig a character for Cartoon Animator 4. First, we'll be using Inkscape, to convert the image. Second, using Krita, we'll break down the image into segments, for rigging in CTA 4. Third, use free rigging templates, for CTA 4. Fourth, change the sprites. In the free templates, to our newly created layers, using Krita. And then import our rigged character into CTA 4 and edit if needed. Note, for those who do not have CTA 4 with the pipeline, there will be added instructions at the end for rigging this character. Download file chef 141723.ai from pixabay.com. The link is in the description. Open the file in Inkscape. A dialog box will appear, click OK. Select layers and objects. Select the plus icon to create a new layer. Rename the layer, to Chef 1. Add three more layers, renaming them to Chef 2, Chef 3, and Chef 4. Select the page 1 layer. Now select an object, from the first chef on the left. Keep selecting, until all, that chef, is highlighted. Right click and in the drop down menu, select, move to layer. Choose chef 1 layer. In the layers area, hide chef 1 layer. Move on to chef 2, doing the same operation, and moving selected chef 2, to layer. Proceed to Chef 3 and then Chef 4. We now can delete, layer named page, 1. Turn on all four layers, and we'll see the four chefs. Now go up to File, Save As, and Save As, a SVG file. Since, we're only using Chef 2, for this example, we can delete layers, Chef 1, 3, and 4. Go to File, Save As, and we'll name it Chef2.svg. Select Export. Make sure, it's exported as a PNG. We can now, shut down Inkscape. Just using a graphic viewer, I'm going to crop the image, of Chef 2. We're not going to need the left arm, so let's crop it out. Open Krita, drag and drop the PNG file into Krita. Note, there is an N-compatibility between Cartoon Animator 4, and newer versions of Krita, after 5.0.6. In the description, I will include a link to a video, that gives instructions, how to install Krita 5.0.6 for CTA 4, while keeping the latest version of Krita installed.
I'm not going into a step-by-step -step tutorial on the graphics of each layer that you will need. But you will need layers for the head, the left and right arms, separate layers for each hand, the hip, both legs, and both feet. Duplicate the background layer for each layer is needed, and remove the unneeded parts of the image.
to create the arms, we will only use the right arm, and then duplicate it, for the left. Copy the arm layer, and paste it into a new image. Increase the canvas size. Now select, Transform Layer Tool, and the Warp function. Adjust the image of the arm, to straighten it out. Copy the adjusted arm layer, go back to the original file, and paste it in. Copy the new arm layer, mirror it, and use it for the left arm. Now delete the curved arm layer.
When you are done the hand, you can mirror it also. Let's now create the head, doing the same process. Save your file as chef2.psd. This was part one of character rigging using Inkscape and Kriter. If you haven't done so already, please take a few seconds to subscribe, like and hit notifications to be notified for part two. Thank you for joining my journey of animation.